Today, Ben and I are completing our elegant side table and I've just spent a day and a night cutting out our fancy brackets. Oh. Yes, that's the last one. Cut out eight of these little beauties. <laughs> then, I've done them all. You can do another few more if you want. No, to spare. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Okay, yeah. I'm going to have a rest. Ben's going to tell you about the oak drawer. When you make the back, or cut the back for length, you want it a little bit narrower than what the front is. Just a small size smaller, so the drawer will go in easy, and fit nice and snug when the drawer's closed. Right, now I'm going to fit the mouldings. Where are we going to do this? We've got a groove running up here and then it stops at the legs, so I've got to compensate for that by chopping out some of the moulding. There we are. Then what we'll do is put some glue there, put a cramp across and that will hold that firm. The timber yard created this moulding for us after I sent them the design. Ben's gluing up the drawer and he's bound to check it's all square. One mil out, is that allowed? Time to clean up the fancy brackets. How's it going on your side of the bench, Den? Slow. Slow but sure. I don't know about that. Look out, here he goes. I like our little sand in me. These are our dust masks. This is the inside. I'll jump me putting that on. Right, that's my little bare face tenons that are going to go into here. Just marking the uh, step back for the shrinkage allowance. What it is, it's so basically if this part shrinks, you don't end up with a gap, which would be the mortise, which is going into appearing, so you end up with this dark hole. A bit of trimming here and there, and the bare face tenons are done. The reason I use the bandsaw will cut them off. If I do them by hand and they split out, then it's my fault. If I use the bandsaw, I can blame the bandsaw. Right now we're well close to finishing, we've just got to get glue in. Thank you, Dennis. Just so it just tugs up a touch. You drop that. I'll be pleased to see the last of these things. Once they're on, they're on. They won't fall off of that amount of glue. Right, what I'm going to do, get a bit of this cloth tape. Any reasonably tough tape will do. I'm just going to wrap it around these two. Just hold them tight. Until the glue goes off. Seems a bit bodgy but it ain't. It's a handy little thing to do. I couldn't think of any other way of doing it anyway. Well you're practicing first aid. <laughs> 
I will be in a minute if you keep on. <laughs> Dennis. Hello. I'm happy. Good. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> what? Oh, no. I'm really. You're taking me for a drink. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All right, that's great. All sorted. It's going to leave this to dry. I think I'll take him for a beer once he uh, puts that thing down that he's got next to his ear. I'm surprised he's got the strength to lift it up. <laughs> Excellent, well it's been drying overnight, it's time to get all this load off and see what it looks like. Looking good, Dennis. I think my virtuous patience paid off, didn't it? I should school. Oh, with me gluing it up and being so careful and all that. Look at it, the joints have pulled up a tree. Why does he keep doing that? <laughs> Why do you keep measuring it corner to corner? We've only added mouldings, do you think it's still, right, <laughs> still all right? Thank you very much. Well, you know, when you get your start... You do that at home in your rooms. You start, yeah, love, yeah. hold that in the corner. Let's check this for square. Lovely. <laughs> Got a mill out over 10 foot. I wonder how the drawers come out. So it's one of your little projects, wasn't it, Dennis, while I was painstakingly cutting out the fretwork. Seems to have stayed together. <laughs> Is that all right if I check it to see whether it's oh, square it or not? <laughs> it will be anyway, if it ain't, because he made it. <laughs> Yeah, 65. Spot on. With the draw sides ready, we can cut the base to size. Because it's quite bowed, to apply lots of pressure keep it flat down on the bed because the cutter's cutting from the base. And it's really nice, isn't it? A nice solid oak drawer. You don't see many of those made around these days, do you? what Dennis has done for us. Look, you couldn't beat that. Look at that. Precision work. That, that's going to be great. We've got the false front to go on there. Then screwing the mahogany front onto the oak. And drilling the holes for the brass handle. Moment of truth, James. Yeah. I'm just going to see that they work. Yeah, they'll work. I know you. Drop them in. Excellent. Well pleased. Okay, so we'll just put the nuts on the back of that. And um, we're okay. We're okay. Well done. Look at that. One piece. Oh, <laughs> don't damage it. Right. There she is. That's what the best side is. Dennis always says to keep bow up, so it's reasonably flat, this piece. Um, looking at defects, got a little bit of a split running down there. It's running all the way through. This is the end of the board until it's painted. And it runs to about there. Now we can lose that because we're going to end up ripping through there anyway. The router creates a terrific decorative edge, but there's always a danger of the wood splitting. Right, there's my first end done. You see what I mean about the break out there, but we don't have to worry because we will take that out and we run with the grain. It's rare to get this type of wood. You'd have to find a traditional timber yard rather than your local DIY store. You really begin to appreciate the colour and grain when you start sanding. using a cabinet scraper to give the top surface a final clean-up. To secure the top in place, 
we need a groove around the inside of the table and make some buttons that fit into the groove. Still a bit of glue. To give the drawer smooth bit. action, we're putting in two runners. And once in position, we'll secure them with nails. And just sneak it down there, and that'll hold it in position till the glue goes off. We're putting in two stops to make the drawer flush with the front. Great. See what I do? The glue, the glue will go off. It will. The glue should go off. Right, we're now fitting our turn buttons. These work like this. They screw up into the top, and then once they're on, we put our hand through the top on there, and we spin them. Dennis is just screwing them on now. We've got to be quite accurate with these. Gonna... We're fixing on a couple of kickers. They'll keep the drawer level when pulled out. I hope they ain't come through. That's your worst nightmare. <laughs> Should we try this on now? First part successful. Cool, it's a tight one. It's in. It's in, it's in. Great, top is fixed. Brilliant. Now the time for a draw. The moment of truth. How about that then? That's great. And the result is fantastic. That is great. I think that we have a completed job. It's nearly complete. It just needs to be stained and varnished. And here's the finished piece. The oil base varnish and stain have really brought the grain to life. The timber cost around £320 and it took four days and a very long night to make. We're both well pleased with the result. It looks brilliant.